administration and a lot of the cities are looking at. So that's a question for y'all if you want to if you want to mandate that registration. I guess a question I have is if they're not doing it now after you mandate it, what's going to make them do it then? Potential for just it's more of a I think it's just you keep elevating the requirements um, to say you know we're never gonna we're never going to get them all. We'll be lucky to get the majority of them, and it's yeah. a revolving door too. Well, there's no penalty now. Some speed, some speed. And some, and some tenants never change. We have had people living in houses for longer than 10, 15 years, and they never change. They're renting, and that's fine. But um, I think to address uh, your concern, TJ, it's. Um, NPC also felt that we may get more compliance and more registrations if we showcase the benefits and you know how many we have in the program, how much compliance we've seen, what we check when we do the inspection through whatever media we want to use. They felt that that would also help. Them. Well, it, it, and you're you're forcing <clears throat> my, my thought process. The ones that don't register are probably the ones that are going to be most likely to be in violation, yeah. um, and they're the ones that are going to drag down the overall rental property values. In the marketplace, because they can they can charge sub rental or sub sub standard pricing. Um, so if you have a system that puts the floor there due to inspections or some sort of floor, it, it will help. What if you did it on all residential properties? Any time the water bill changes, I'll be against that. <laughs> <laughs> what we do this for businesses? How many people what we do this for businesses? How many people are we hiring? Just tell me, it, 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 you would catch all these people, or at least part of them, whenever time anything changed, and we have enough people to do all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Do it for businesses. Uh, not on a property owner change. Well, you know, on a, but on a, on a tenant change. Most of them. We do it on a yearly basis. Yeah. But then, oh. Is there any like, fire inspection? Fire for renters in Lewiston? Sorry. Publications. If you ran a, you know, here's your renter rights. Louisville has an ordinance, some type of. Just the stuff online, but I think that's what Clee was saying. We need to do a better job of, of getting that out there, marketing and showcasing that. Yeah, I mean, you, and that, that would be another way to, to force the issue. The, uh, the, the committee did look at, at Councilman Durham's question in that when, house, when houses sell now, typically, the, the title company or mortgage, or the the mortgage company already requires a third party independent inspection of the house. So that's already being done. So we didn't feel like we would, the question came up on home on home sales or turning over of homes from one owner to the next. Should we be looking at that? And it's already being done and the quality of those are pretty good from what we've seen out there. It's usually only when they have a mortgage. When the, and most, most people do. Not everybody, but most people do. So yes, yeah, we did. They did. They did look at that. They did talk about that. Could you touch real quick on the international property code and the connection to this program? We've got about six minutes left. No problem. Again, the uh, current or oh nine or oh six right now. We are oh six at this. Oh six. The city's under the the, the international. Codes, that's your building code, plumbing code, mechanical code, fire code, and the national electrical code. We're under the, the international package. What the, what the International Code Committee has done is come up with an international property ma management code or maintenance code that wraps a lot of the independent requirements in your, in your uh, building standards, building codes, uh, plumbing code. They put it into a uh, summary code book that cities can adopt. Uh, there's nothing, in my opinion, in this document that's going to uh, stand anybody up on it. It's, it's nothing that's not already in the code, but it puts it into a more defined docket, document that is easier to interpret, easier to apply. So Cleve and his staff did an evaluation of, of this document and presented that to the committee. And they recommended that the city council adopt it. Uh, did I cover that pretty yes. awesome? Is the residential code in part of that package? Uh, yes, it's, this is this is the this is for commercial and for residential, but it basically is the maintenance code of both of those categories. It just compiles everything into one code book that's easier to apply and easier to, um, if nothing else, uh, advertise 
and get out there to residents or, for that matter, commercial property owners as well. We feel like this code may help us. It's not that it hasn't been out there, we just never have gone to that level to, to do that. So, on these recommendations, have you, because I know last time you worked with, uh, you did a really good job, staff did a really good job of working with the real estate community. Have you gone over any of these changes in, in the recommendations that you're looking at with them to let them, to let them know that we're not trying to bring something on them and, and, and explain to why we want to make some of these changes? No, sir. I've been in contact with Ms. Kim Lambert, the Board of Realtors. She has questions, so I was going to wait until after the council retreat. And, and she wasn't here. She was not the, the manager of the board at the time. I forgot her name. She, she left. Um, so I was going to go back and set a meeting up with her okay. and go over the, the small, I'm going to call these small changes, but right. the changes here, and then bring, actually go back to the commit to, to the Board of Realtors at their meeting, and there's right. about a hundred of them, and explain it and um, and go over that with them. Right. I like that because it lets them know, it, it, it lets them know why you're recommending these yes. changes, the problems you're having with it, so and so forth. I would like to get the Gloire's input on all this before we kind of vetted the, the, a lot of this. I mean, the discussions that you two had with them uh, said that they were comfortable with a lot of this. It's not how they started, but Claude no. went in and we. Yeah. It's largely a communication process. We can almost convince them that there's some kind of good answer for them to It's run the proper way. We don't get too out there as far as. Well, I think they, yeah, they were also pleased with the, uh, it, it was refundable, you know, that fee was refundable, that was a big thing with them. So we would need to go back to talk uh, one more time, please, before we want to do A couple of realtors told me that they were glad that the standard is surprising and give them rent. It's clear up for them. Objective. Objective. Council, what, what I'd like you to kind of do on this, whole discussion is to, you've got eight or nine kind of recommendations in various areas. We did not just want to see, we got a few more to go. Well, we got the ED part, which is somewhat secondary to it, but you've got everything from the portage share, the accessory to the porch patio coverage. I think what might help you on this is to try to prioritize one or two of those. I don't think we want to try to tackle all of them at once. I think if you were to try to prioritize in your mind what you think are maybe one or two of the most important or most effective things to do, it might help you make some decisions about what to do about those things and then also help implement them because you're just going to be kind of doing the incremental rather than taking them all at once and unleashing a whole new series of regulations. That's just my, my thought. I like a lot of the recommendations you're making. There's a couple tweaks, like the 120 feet thing. But other than that, I, I really don't see a problem. That it seems like they'd make their job easier. Well, I guess we'll discuss it tomorrow. One way, there's another way to do it. If you remember, we did that already. We kind of took two of them last year mm -hmm. and put them into place. And it wasn't a big deal. They didn't have a big problem with it. So if we kind of did it incrementally, I think we'll call it. If we did it incrementally, you're probably not going to have a deal where if you go everything at one time you make it more push back. We're gonna this is call said good place right so we're gonna adjourn and be back in the morning same time, make thirty breakfast, nine o'clock begin.